Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews. In this video, I will show you guys the best seated tweaks for the third week of March 2017. Switch Dock. This is a pretty awesome tweak which allows you to pin your favorite apps on the app switcher. So you can have five apps up here. So all you have to do is just tap an icon here and hold it and you can select any application that you want and then you can open these apps directly from here. So let's open the settings app. So here are the settings of this tweak. You enable it here. You can disable the suggested app bar and also you can change the position to the top or to the bottom and then respring your device here for the changes to take effect. To install this tweak you will need to add a repo which you will find in the description of the video. Widgetfication X. This tweak allows you to customize the look of the widgets and also the notifications on the notification center. So you can see here on the lock screen as well as on your home screen when you swipe left you have the widgets here and you can customize their look using this tweak. So to do that you will need to go to the settings of this tweak and here you have all the options so you can hide the widget icon, you can hide the title, you can completely hide the header and also here you have the toggles and here you have the description of the toggles and what you do by enabling each of these toggles you have here them for the widgets and as, as well as for the notifications right there and then just respring your device to apply these settings to the widgets and the notifications of your device. Delay read recipes. This tweak will prevent someone from knowing that you have already written their message until you reply back to them or until you start typing a message back to them. So you can see here it only shows delivered and the second I start typing a message back it will show that I have written the message. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak what you have to configure here is an enable button to enable or disable the tweak and then you can choose when you want to send the read recipe when you type a message back or when you start typing a message back. And you can also enable here activate if you enable this you can tap and long hold a message bubble to send the read recipe for that message. I got you. Even though this is not a new tweak, I had to put it on this list because it's very, very useful and it has been updated this week to work on iOS 10. So it allows you to protect your phone by someone. If someone gets it, if someone steals it or finds your iPhone, they try to type a wrong passcode. It will take a picture of them. It will send it to your email or to your SMS. And also it will send you the location of where your iPhone is. So here are the settings of this tweak. So here you can choose after how many failed attempts you want to do these actions and then you can enable here take a picture acquire location and also show a text message so if you want to show them a text message you can enable it right here so this is for the failed unlock attempts and this is for the power so if someone tries to shut down your iPhone it will take a picture and will send you the location and that and the picture and you can also prevent the power off so they won't be able to power up your iPhone so you can choose here how you want to receive these informations you can do that by email or by SMS so you enable it here you enter your email or you enter your phone number down here. Moose, you know when you select a text on iOS it will be blue like you can see here the cursor you can see when I select it now it's red Now normally this will be blue but with this tweak you can change that color to any color that you want all you have to do is just go to the settings of this tweak enable it here and then just pick any color that you like to apply and then you will have that color once you select a text on your iOS 10 device. Safari Enhancer 10 this is a very useful tweak for Safari, it adds a bunch of new features to the Safari app. Like for example, this full screen mode, which looks pretty awesome. Also, you can flatten the URL up here and you can also enable like a blue keyboard or you can also enable like a black keyboard for Safari and it has a bunch of other features and you can enable them by going to the settings of this tweak. So let's go here to the settings of Safari Enhancer 10, not that, this one. Okay, so here we have all the features that this tweak will bring to Safari and you can enable or disable any of them directly from here. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For more videos like this please make sure to subscribe. Also don't forget to follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of the video.